travel. The capital of the Czech Republic is often called the Golden City and the Mother of Cities, but its most fitting nickname is the City of a Hundred Spires. It's enough to stand in the middle of the main square and take a look around to see that Prague deserves this nickname. Moreover, the tops of the spires are incredibly alike. On the old town square, which in Czech is called Staromecké Namitsi, stands the old town hall, the teen church, and one can see the towers of the magazine and the towers of the Charles Bridge, all built in the same fashion. The square itself is approximately 9,000 square meters. Its shape and size had been decided on around 1230 A.D. by King Venceslas I. The 800 years passed since then made their mark. Executions, coronations, and assemblies took place here, making the square the center of the city's social life. Under the protection of the two fortresses of Hradceny and Visegrad, artisans, craftsmen, and businessmen settled down here. Soon, the marketplace of the Roman Prague was established, as well as the city, later to be surrounded by a wall and a moat. The famous clock of the town hall, the Prague Orloi, was designed by Nicholas of Copenhagen and was later modified by clockmasters Hanos and Taborski. The clock itself is made of three parts and is surrounded by a Gothic stone frame. The figures of the puppet play appear every hour. The first figure is a skeleton holding an hourglass, which symbolizes mortality, and the rope of a death bell. After the skeleton come the twelve apostles and a figure wearing a turban, which represents the Turkish menace. The figures have been renovated several times. Some of the original puppets are now at the National Museum. The dial shows the movement of the sun and the moon, and of course, the passing of time. Around the dial, there are the signs of the zodiac. The pictures of the calendar were painted by Josef Manas in 1866. The new entrance of the town hall and the Gothic windows were designed by the same Matej Resik who designed the magazine. One can see the monument of Jan Zelivsky on the outer wall of the tower, a friend of Jan Hus, who was executed in the yard of the town hall. The word teen means market, so the teen church means a church standing in the market square. The Gothic building with the archway on the eastern side of the square is partly hiding the church. There was a school here where the famous architect Matej Reisik taught. The three-naved Gothic church was a church for the foreign traders who sold and kept their goods in the nearby Ungelt yard. The teen served the Hussites from the 15th century. Its most famous sculpture is the tympanum, showing the Passion of Christ. To the right of the main altar stands the tomb of the Danish astronomer Tycho Brahe, who stayed at the court of Rudolf II and was the master of Kepler. The copper line running along the square surface is the physical labeling of the meridian running here. Jan Hus was a dean of the Prague University, a famous professor, and a brilliant orator. He spoke against the hypocrisy and lifestyle of the noblemen and high-ranking clerical leaders, scourging blind fate and dogmas. His preaching unleashed the 1419 revolution. Jan Hus was burnt at the stake. His monument made by Vladislav Saloum was given to the public 500 years later. The other church of Staromecké Namisti is a snow-white Baroque building. The St. Nicholas Church standing on a street corner was designed by Kilian Ignaz Dietzenhofer in Baroque style. The fresco in the dome is the work of the famous Bavarian artist Peter Azam, while the sculptures were created by Czech Baroque masters Antonin and Matej Brown. The buildings of the square were named, according to medieval tradition, after the residents, their purpose, or their sculptures. This music school is called Smetana and was established by the composer himself. Next to it, there is a house with stone sheep. In the building near the town hall is a pharmacy called the White Lion. The name of the house with the stone bells speaks for itself. The Roman buildings of the old town were two to three meters below sea level, so every spring, when the Voltava flooded, they were in danger. The area was artificially banked up at the end of the 13th century, so the first floor of the Roman buildings became the basement for the Gothic houses. Along the city wall, there was a deep moat which was filled up at the same time. It became the inner boulevard, similar to Vienna's ring and the Graben. 
the old town square is still the heart of Prague. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. We travel.